I would like to say congratulations for publishing this book. And, um, and one thing I like is you are a musician. And I always tell my musicians that the era of dumb musicians is over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I my musicians are vagabonds, marombe, and I don't blame anyone. Because for them to say so, it means somebody had done something. But I don't my musicians are vagabonds, but no. <laughs> So it's up to us to clean the name. I remember I knew my father every time he saw me playing an instrument, I got, a, I got corporal punishment for years when I was too young. But I refused to give up because I don't give up easily. When I want something, I never give up. In any name, okay, we did what we can do. I see that I'm tired. So what I did is I noticed that uh, there is something that he hates about the music industry. And I was wondering what it is. And then I started researching. And I noticed no more is it I won't mention his name because I'm recording. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And that's the time I got to come out of the gate. Then he went to Monomutapa and booked the hotel. Maria Benderes, by age girl one. And when he came out from the room, he had no money to go back home. So I said to myself, it's now my duty to clean up that name. I said to myself, Baba, politely, anybody, please just give me some time. And proved to my father that you can be married with one wife and no child is missing, and, um, or maybe you'll be good at hiding or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so after some years, when I, started, I joined the music industry professionally. 22 January 1988, but he called me, I think it was Friday, the 12th of October 2001, and he said, you now have my blessings. Wow. <laughs> he said, you now have my blessings. It was after I proved myself that you can be a musician, because he came to my wedding, I did a European wedding. I call it a European wedding because but that one is European, but anyway, it's a story for another day. <laughs> so I'd like to say congratulations to you. And um, music industry, there's a certain stigma which is attached to, to, to education. Because people say if you go to a college of music, or if you, if you get educated, your talent will be diluted, you know, for a pair. I wonder where that uh, myth came from. It was, um, I remember when I said I was going to my previous degree, I got two kids. I was a pair of money. I was a pair of what I say. And I was wondering, Mutim, where else in the world do you find people who believe that getting information or getting educated with a little talent? There is no scientific evidence for that. So, what I noticed is in Africa, we've got a phobia for reading and researching. And uh, ignorance is big business in Africa. We make a matter out of ignorance. Why would you waste time? It's she rich? No, she's not rich. So I my friend, so I told you, I told you, I told you, I you, I that's a proof here when I have to have a bubble or proof. I'm not that much to think of the bubble. Do what talks of Pam Yama or what does a sweet as your German one. So, when you that type of ignorance, Yaka Zara Africa, in the imaginable form, surveying a bosom to know what I'm saying, what is reading and traveling. One, if you read and if you travel, friends, I was no Africa, no Guara. So I'm able to, we now have musicians who now read and write. So I'm also encouraging you to also write your own autobiography. Wega. What was on your own? 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 What was on the 13th of September next month, I'm launching a new edition of my autobiography. So I was asking my fellow author friends, when I actually couldn't, is there a musician that can be the autobiography? So far, I've certain one. So I could be the first one. And I don't want to be the last one. So it should be the next one. So don't be really my opponent.